so early on, but he's really put the pedal to the metal in the middle stages. I prefer really looking in the whites of people's eyes, but uh, yeah, sometimes it's, uh, you know, it's obviously has been very good for the game, internet poker, and it's, uh, it's certainly made the game grow a lot. He's really dominated us um, for the last sort of um, level and a half. Yeah. And uh, it's now inwards, finally, to make a decision. And he found the hand he was waiting for, although he hasn't got much left to push anybody out. 39,000 with the ace-10. That's the first time I guessed him right. <laughs> so we'll just wait to see if he's going to get any callers. Smith Call. says no. Call. Call. Fidlow, anything reasonable? Oh, he's got more than reasonable. I guess he stuck a load in. And sure <laughs> enough, ace, queen of diamonds. Uh, we may be seeing the end of Paul inwards here. Looks like it. So inwards Hello, with a very strong possibility of being outwards outside in a second unless a 10 hits the board he needs help little deuce be handy for him <laughs> don't you dare yeah two on the turn a river could make a split pot and inwards down to that or a 10 right now an ace a couple of diamonds be nice he says Hey, I was on a free roll when I came in. It's a free roll now. Uh, as long as Santa Claus six. don't bring home... It's even better. A six yeah. would make a split <laughs> pot as well. Mm -hmm. Wait, what are you two open for? <laughs> <over there? laughs> Wouldn't you prefer it to be for <laughs> <laughs> Shush! <laughs> River card to come. These guys having fun anyway. Although the stakes are huge. And that spade on the river... Good game, sir. Was not enough for Paul Inwards, who really made some noise early on, Donica, but uh, in the end, couldn't make the moves. Five hands, five cards to a poker hand make. The ace queen high, beating the ace ten high, and uh, Paul back to Arizona. That was hard. I had ace ten. I had to go all in with it, but I had the bad luck to, that he had ace queen. 63 hands, down to three now. Paul Inwards out in fourth. The story now, this is the PartyPoker.com European Open. Three left, one goes through. But the real story with these three is that Daniel Smith has to put in a massive percentage of his chips in the big blind. And uh, that's 15,000 out of his 54. And Donica, you think he should well guard that blind or... Uh, defended strongly well the way he's been playing so far uh, he's not that likely to defend it but um, you know he's um, I heard Neil asking how much have you got left there so obviously he's going to raise he's going to make it um, you know in, in the region of 50,000 Fidlow folds Neil reaches deep and with an ace 10 you can understand why he's willing to take Daniel Smith on who is calling quickly. Yeah, he must have something. Oh, yeah. Oh, he sure does. <laughs> Smith trying to prove the pundits. Wrong here. Has waited, waited, waited. And uh, now has gotten all his chips in with the best of it, Donica. If he wins this pot, I guess he'll be... Um, yeah, yeah, energy. yeah. Patience uh, has paid off for him. Uh, but he, he certainly needs to play more aggressively if he does win it. <laughs> now on, yeah. <laughs> Five cards to come. Jesus. Daniel Smith not minding that one. He's ahead. A king now would make a straight for Channing and send him sprawling. Okay. Here's the turn. That's a nine. Oh. Jeez. Now I need to Daniel Smith says, what do you have to put me in the guillotine and sharpen the blade as well? An eight or king now to end his night. Anything else he's still safe. We haven't seen any tough last cards yet. Um. <laughs> as if important of doom. Smith with the three jacks on the end doubles through. That'll put him up to 108,000 and actually narrow the gap now. Channing and Fidlow nearly <laughs> even. Looking at that hand, they got it all in. And Smith 
made to sweat a bit, but with three jacks in the end, that'll beat just one pair. And uh, he's got a few more rounds. I guess it'll um, be interesting to see if he goes back into his shell, but um, I think the other two are definitely playing more aggressively, you know, and uh, I think they'll, um, I think they might wear him down, you know, but... Um, I mean, uh, one of the features of three-handed hold'em, uh, you can't get cards all the time. Sometimes even an ace, or any ace, has to look oh, huge. Absolutely, me. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I guess the odds say that all players will get dealt nothing every time. Or each individual time. Button now for Channing, four high. Looking for some revenge here. Raised to 36,000 total. Or is he a bit hot? 36,000 is the bet. And uh, Smith has him slaughtered, but folds him up. It's uh, 19,000 on Scott Fidlow. With a suited king, Donica. Can he suss out it's the best? Well, it looks as if he's thinking of calling. Um, certainly a good raise by Neil. Um, Certainly, that's the that's the way to play it. Good stage. timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've got a flop now. This pot is big, seventy-nine thousand. It'll be interesting to see what happens if both players miss. Fidlo grabbing a large stack, but uh, that is absolute zero for both players. And Fidlo has Check. checked it to Channing, Check. who has checked behind him. Big blank on the turn. And Fiddler looks like he's betting. Not until they cross the line. Donica, this will be a good what? bet, won't it? Yes. Um, unlike the pot earlier when he had the pair of fives against Neil's pair of threes mm -hmm. when he checked because he had something, now he's got nothing. So he reckons this is the only way he can um, win the pot. Um, I don't know what Neil's going to do about this. Money. Certainly take some balls It'll to go over the, the top from here. <laughs> Neil taking his time, Deal? but Fidlo interpreting the check on the flop as a sign of weakness has read that language correctly. And fold it up shop. <laughs> a slip up by Channing, and we have a new chip leader, Scott Fidlo. Taking charge now at 287,000. And Donica, you said that you've been impressed with his play. Uh, do you think he may uh, be able to out Duke Channing here? I think they've both been playing well. And, um, you know, obviously it, it looked like we were going to get head to head for a while, although Daniel Spitt now has doubled up. But, um, yeah, I don't know if I'd like to put my money on either player. You know, I mean, the, the, they're, both, uh, they're both playing well. I think maybe Neil has been maybe playing a little bit the better. You know, he's he's been taking the initiative, and uh, you know, when you when you get to two and three-handed, you know, that's what you yes, need to do. Amanda has changed for Marina, and the blinds raised yet again, ten and twenty thousand. Probably not good for Daniel Smith unless he gets some big hands. He's been very oh, conservative, sorry. and now with the eight-four on the button. Trying to get rid of it. Put some straight to into hell. 10,000 on Fidlow. Who, uh, he may have some confidence after bluffing Channing there. And well, he's, he's got a nice hand anyway, hasn't he, now? Oh. Yeah. yeah, so it's just a matter of... Oh, wow. That's a strange one, isn't it? A bit of a change ball, isn't it? A little bit of a curve. Fidlow limping in with the oh, ace. Uh, and now, <laughs> now he's missed it wide. <laughs> Check with the option to raise later. <laughs> Fidlow says, I'm planning to check raise, and Channing says, don't tell Porky's. Sticks a bet that right was, yeah. in with, uh, I guess, a straight draw. But this pot's <laughs> over. Yeah, that was a strange play by Fidlow. I mean, I don't know whether he was uh, going to re-raise Channing hardly, um, you know, just playing with the A6 suited. Uh, he gave Neil a free flop, and Neil out-flopped him. Yeah, yeah. 67 hands gone by, and uh, the leaderboard is tightening now, isn't it? Three players left. Yeah, I mean, that's two hands that Scott had a king-ten and a 